Yo, what is going on, man? We back with uh, another video, man. This right here is Tokyo Revengers uh, Black Force Anime Part 2, man. Y'all said what Part 2 at, man? We got some beautiful ladies, and we got one more special guest on this video, man. So it's going to be lit, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hey, I'm Belle. Y'all can find me on TikTok at Belle Mamas underscore six times what's up y'all i'm kiara also known as kiara xox you can find me on youtube kiara xox tiktok dot kiara xox and ig underscore underscore kiara xox hey guys i'm nubia and you can find me on instagram and youtube nubian dot v underscore you can find me on tiktok i am nubian v what's up i'm tiana you can find me on tiktok and instagram at tiana dot in dot atf it's cassie g make sure y'all subscribe to my youtube channel at cassie g c a s s i space g Hey, hey. Okay, okay. So they say, you know, a scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And homie right here just wants to smoke. Look at dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. And both of these dudes trying to team up on him, but I need it on just nonchalantly just oh, Yo, this oh, man, man is the definition of not giving a f Why he look like a glass <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally Too time for merch? us to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And today's gonna be a very, very special video because it is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers, or should I call it <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy, the anime. Niggas getting dropped, getting beat the fuck up, gang violence, home invasion, nigga, you name it. So last time we did Exhibit A, and that was episodes 1 through 15. A, and I said when the season ends, I'll do Exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And well, uh... It's about that time. So let me go ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episode 16 through 24, you may not want to watch this video because you will be spoiled. Or, I mean, if you don't care, then strap the f in, nigga, because you're about to get into this shit. So without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit B. So last time we left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood, bro? So apparently Kazutora has yeah. a grudge against Tomen. So we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this man Mikey's just like, you why know, they give chilling me Mario on Mario Vaz? They got the shields in the back. <laughs> bro. I love how the most <laughs> savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. And look at dude, he like, why are you shitting on my moped, dog? This is my street hawk, nigga. So then this other gang pulls up. They look like some whole ass grown men out here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's like, I right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, oh, nigga. But then Mikey gives him this death stare. He's like, lay one finger on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just stared down a whole ass grown man. So he backs off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. He acting tough and shit right now, but in his mind, he's like, ah, oh, hell no. This little nigga about to burn my shit. I best could daddle. <laughs> so they get, but they like, if we see you again, we gonna jump your ass. Not they daddle. Like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder these niggas? Oh my God, dog, you just a kid. And you out here talking about murdering grown ass men. So then Mikey runs out of gas. So then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji okay. ends up having to push Mikey's moped all the way to so the gas station. Gas? But he ends up running into that same oh, game that they saw earlier. Not yeah, prepared. Uh, he ended up getting jumped. So after that, they like, Alright, bro, we Ooh. got to fuck up your moped. Dang, now. Then he's about to break it. Baji steps in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped now. Hey, right that's before a real this friend. man Baji's about to get jumped mm -hmm. again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I forgot my swim trunks. So then this dude ah. kicks his own moped down. Then he turns what? around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerf with my shit, huh? And then man's like, hey, hold on, bro, you fucked up your old moped. But then Mikey just clocks his oh. shit. Send this grown ass man flying. Like, dog, imagine getting knocked out by a child. You a grown ass man and you got knocked out by a <laughs> kid. <laughs> Nigga, you wouldn't have oh, been to your hood. Like, bro, don't ever show your oh, face yeah. again. No, yeah, they was running grown bad, men's bro. fades at like the age of 12. So later on, Kazutor and Baji are just riding down the street and they're like, hey, yo, we gotta get Mikey a birthday present. So Kazutor suggests we should get Mikey that bike that he always wanted. So Baji's okay. like, all right, bro, how we gonna get the bike? And Kazutor says, we're stealing it. These niggas about to rob the bike shop. And look at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. Little niggas only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. 
Look at them. They got the pliers and shit. So then they get it loose and they're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutora goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the shop. So he notices them and he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench in everything. He ready to clock this shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. But while they're talking, this man Kazutora comes out of nowhere no. and collects his shit with the pliers. <laughs> He cracked him in the temple with a smile on his face. Oh. And that man is just flat out dead. And then Baji's are like, ah, oh, shit. We f***ed up. Because the man that Kazutor just killed is Mikey's brother. Whoa, dang. Wow. He shouldn't have came in there, though. Dang. <laughs> you should have just took the bike and left, fool. You could have like, tied him yeah. up or something. With some pliers, yeah. too. Yeah, dang. <laughs> Ain't no coming back from the pliers. Mm -mm. <laughs> While trying to steal a bike for his birthday, they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop, trying to steal his bike that he was going to give Mikey for his birthday, and Dang. he killed him. Oh, God damn, bro. Dang. And you man is losing it, it right now. He's like, it's all Mikey's fault. I need to kill Mikey. What the f***? What? What? How does that you make any sense? You just clocked his brother upside the head. <laughs> basically just killed the nigga. And you're saying it's Mikey's fault. Pff, yo, this nigga's a lost cause. So yo. then they get arrested and, yeah, and then they see Mikey. Okay. Oh my God, bro. This is just tragic. And look at him. Kill. Kill. Oh, hell no, yo. This nigga's batshit crazy. So Baji didn't get yo, locked crazy, up because Kazutora defended him. So Baji joins Valhalla and they tell Takamichi, all right, go ahead, tell that nigga Mikey this, that on October 31st, we running y'all shit. So the day before the fight, Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu, the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier. Ooh, and he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Valhalla, and it's because of Kisaki. So apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole time. Because we already know in the future, the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude. Oh, yeah. So they do some investigating and they figure yeah. out that this man is running the whole show. Like, y'all remember Osunai, the nigga that got knocked the f out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse? Apparently, Kisaki <laughs> was the one who put him in power. And, bruh, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty <laughs> as fuck. How did he go from looking like this to this? So they end up putting the puzzle pieces together and they figured out that Kisaki is the one that is basically <laughs> leading Valhalla as well. And he's pulling the strings from both sides. Yo, this man on a Palpatine type B. God damn. Homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides. So he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean, that's kind of smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine, though. Hey, but you could try, you could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back to the future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that Mikey is supposed to be the leader of Valhalla. And the whole organization was made for him to lead. And he figures out that he has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutor because uh, Mikey's going to put that nigga six feet under. And if Mikey catches a body, then everything's gonna go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from gangs came to watch this they shit. Like it's a, a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these niggas are dripping though. Look at the fence. And this big ass nigga right here made sure to bring snacks. <laughs> like, god damn, how many <laughs> Big Macs did you get, nigga? <laughs> and he got a whole nother bag. Eating so bread. Dude walks up and he's like, all right, both y'all niggas ain't like shit. Just letting y'all like know that right, right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed to be like a regulated? fight so then he's like all right y'all bring out your team captains <laughs> yo they really out here like it's a whole ass game they got flags and everything i'm surprised they didn't bring the band to play the fight song this is a goddamn delinquent national championship so he's like all right bro what the fuck y'all want to do y'all want to do a five on five or a whole ass all out brawl like nigga yo it's five on brawl. five so we having like a whole ass tag team match but then cause the tour is like man this shit then just crash the rest in the face and then just punch them in the gut for good measure so then bro's Dang. like what is all this bullshit overseeing a fight conditions what y'all niggas want to do playhouse or some shit nah nigga fuck all that bullshit we came to box out sorry ass so they say you know school rules bro so they all just started blasting and look at them they all smiling and homie right here just want the smoke no. look at dude with the mask bro that one that, dude. fuck a pandemic i'm beating your ass and both these dudes <laughs> tried to team up on him but he he just nonchalantly just <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this man is a definition of a guy. Oh, look at the little rat pay on this guy.
Still not forgetting what your little red ass did, nigga. But hey, hey I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Oh, yeah. shit, fool with the nice drop kick. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi just standing there like a dumbass, like, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Then he ends up getting his shit dropped. Mm. Then Misu comes and saves him. He's like, hey, bro, get your head in the game or you're going to be six feet under when this shit is over. So Kazuko right. is coming in to sweep him like the dragon stops him. He's like, uh, 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 we're doing this JRPG style. You got to beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. But then okay. Hanma's lanky ass comes oh, yeah. over and boots Draken's ass like 10 feet. Like, damn, boy, you got a strong ass foot. Size 13 having ass boy. <laughs> so then Mikey and Kazuto are finally <laughs> face off. Kazuto is like, yeah. I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little dumbass brother upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He's like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little no. banana peel head ass. So while they're facing off, Takamichi's still over here shitting bricks. So then Shifuyu comes over and he's like, hey, bro, I know you're scared, but you're going to have to go some balls. So yeah, Takamichi is a playing the nigga out. Ooh, okay. boy, rock that nigga okay. shit. But, but, but then, but then, my nigga just started getting oh, no. Hey, hey, but at man. least he's fighting. Ooh. So Dr bro, hey, I had you in this, man. But at least you, at least you, you, you face your fears, though, bro. I can give you one that, hit. man. He said he a lover, not a fighter. No cow. He got one hit. He need to do something. They gonna get stomped out. For real, learn how to fight. Somebody sign him up for a boxing or something. You know, kung fu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Check out the boxing. Ooh, he gave him that signature DBZ gut punch. But then Hanuma sticks his goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tommen right now. Like, they're, they're outnumbered and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about Damn, to get they jumped. got a whole army. Talk of me, for real. What the oh, fuck is no. my doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the Oh, oh apparently, bro, just yeah. get everybody a tome and a whole morale boost. Yeah. So Jack can start stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. He I've been watching like Naruto 24-7. I've been waiting for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. So this man just starts running wild on the whole Madara yeah. thing. Just cracking everybody's skull one after another. Catching bodies on bodies on bodies. And they like, oh, mm -hmm. hell no, nah, nigga. I didn't sign up for this. And bro, he literally laid everybody out cold. Mm -hmm. and look at him, bro. He's like, yeah. You next linky ass boy. Hey, look at bro, he enjoying this shit. He like, Ooh. yeah, baby, let's dance, nigga. Damn. Boy, he sent that nigga flying at least 50 yards. Oh, hey, look at Takamichi, he's like, damn, bro, I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's out here chasing out Kazuto, and he's like, quit running, you banana peeled ass bitch. But he leads him into a hole trap, and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both their captains. But it don't matter because it's still light work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But they end up getting a hold of Mikey. And this man, Kazuto, comes from the top rope and collapses his shit with this still pipe. Oh, wow. Trying to do it like his brother? Right. Or so we thought because my nigga still got up. And then this man, Kazuto, <laughs> just starts monologuing. He just wanted he says, a motorcycle. I went to juvie because of you. I suffered because <laughs> of you. Because if a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. And everybody's like, what the f is this nigga on? Yeah. This nigga must have snorted like two lines before the battle started. Then this man Hama's <laughs> like, batshit crazy, am I right? Nah, nigga, you ain't lying. So then they hold him down and he's like, don't let him go. I'm about to beat the shit off this nigga. Dang, so he just starts yeah. hitting him with a steel pipe. Everybody's like, damn. And they can't steal this And look at old dude, bro. He like, damn. That, that nigga really <laughs> that shit. And look at him, bro. He's like, I'm gonna become a hero by killing my enemy. Smacks him again, bro. Bro, what the f is you on? So while Mikey's being held down, he's like kill your enemy is that why you kill my brother bro, this man headbutts oh. dude then picks this oh. man up with his oh, leg oh, 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 oh my god, god. No, 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 no. i'm done i'm Dang. done i'm waving it off i've seen enough come on in sir take your seat get real comfortable bro we ain't even yeah. done yet and i could end the video right hey. here off of just that his leg. this dude Dang. literally Dang. picked up Dang. his leg with another nigga on it then Bro, you gotta and strong, knock both of them out cold. Yeah. Double yeah. KO, yeah. actually triple KO, because the other nigga knocked the fuck out down there too. But then after that, Mikey's out of gas. So Bro can't even move right now. So then all of all is like, all right, bro, let's go mm -hmm. jump this nigga. So Takamichi's trying to rush up there to stop him, but he's gonna be too late. So right when okay. Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel mm -hmm. comes out of the woodworks and plots, homie. Dead ass made the nigga spin like a damn Beyblade. So Kisaki's up here trying to defend Mikey, and we all know. This is bad. Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Takamichi's like, no, 
This can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh my god. So Takamichi's like, no, guys. This shit can't be happening. Do not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming. And it's Baji and he sneaks his ass. Clocked him upside his head. And bro, it's just With knocked glasses, out. You Look at Baji, bro. He's like, yeah, nigga. I'm about to fuck your face up so goddamn bad. Your mom won't even be able to recognize your little ugly ass. But then he gets thrown by Kisaki's vice commander. Kisaki's like, all right, bro. Swat that nigga dead. So Chifuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracked that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in and he's like, stop this, bruh. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi... You just need a hug, out, man. Bro, <laughs> this man Kazutora comes out of nowhere and shakes his ass. And he pushed it in. Oh my God. You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. Then he's like, die, Baji. What did he do? This a nigga that was trying to help you. And you just stabbed him in his back. Bro, Kazu right? so like, yeah. just trucks him. But then this man Baji is he still standing up back. like nothing happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down a entire a army on a hill. Something. So you know, he like, puts his hair back. And he's like, bring <laughs> it on, nigga. So he just runs at him and just starts beating the shit out of everybody. Yeah. It is a 50 to 1, and this nigga is cracking yeah. everybody's yeah. shit. Yeah. This man is dead ass laying out an entire division yeah. with just a steel pipe. And look at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So Kisaki's like, ah, shit, bro. We gotta stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just holds up Kisaki in under like a minute. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. And our boy Baji is down for the count, bro. What? Look at this nigga Kisaki. He knows he planned this shit. You conniving. So the stab in the back killed him? He shoved it in. Yeah. <clears throat> he shoved it in, boss. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, he drilled that drunk into his back. Adrenaline got back. him as far as it did. Yeah, that's yeah what exactly. The blood pushed out more with him. That's the realness when they say stabbed in the back. He literally did. Yeah. That dude was trying to kill him. Here go. <laughs> ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that Baji has bled out and bro is like megaly pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma and he's like, he the fight it. is already over. Bahama's like, hey bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him and he's like, Sit your old lanky ass down. Then he it's says, over there, now. it's <laughs> over. Dog, 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 bro, bro. Mikey yeah, is literally over. red different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over. Because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard, his ass cheeks are spazzing out. Oh, oh, so everybody he watching while he down. Like, bro, it is over. And I don't know how all this even happened. It's because this nigga is so scared hard. shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutora's definitely got some screws loose. I see. He brought Baji in the bar hollow so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. So then Mikey walks up to Kazutor and Kazutor is like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. And Mikey's just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? So yeah, bro, he just started rolling on that nigga. He hit that nigga like 10 yards. And then bro just took top mountain. Nigga, nigga, it's over. Oh, oh. He's beating the piss out of his ass. Even the nigga that be falling all the time is like, oh. You gonna kill that nigga. Why calls the tourist getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass? He remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know damn well, uh, the nigga that probably set up that phone call, uh, was Steve Urkel's ass. Yo, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he what? goes over to cause the and he's like, hey, I bro, don't blame your death on me. Yeah. So he just said, fk it and just killed himself. Oh, oh he actually offed himself. Oh my so he god! Wouldn't have to blame old dude for his death. I the the one for standing who, up. Why? The the he said, "You can't <laughs> kill me. I'm gonna kill myself." That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's crazy. They clearly got some chemical imbalances going on. <laughs> right for <here>. real. <laughs> that night, they ain't gonna say so you killed me. <laughs> yeah, I don't Jesus Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him. He's like, you're next. You two can go to hell together. This man Mikey looking at his crazy ass like, 
Shut the fuck up. So while Baji's dying, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius. Right after Pa went to jail, he went up to Mikey to become the third division captain in exchange for getting Pa out of jail. He makes sure he's the chick. Next level ass plotting. So Baji says his last words, and he's like, all right, y'all. I'm out this hoe, so uh, <laughs> you couldn't say that a lot. Yeah. Oh, Damn, oh. Bro, he didn't even portray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey just loses mm. and just starts beating the shit out of Kusumura. So Takamichi's like, ah shit, bro. I gotta stop this nigga because if I don't, the future's gonna go to crap. So he obviously can't fight Mikey. So he's like, I, right, I'm gonna have to resort <laughs> to one of the most overpowered techniques in anime history, used by the seventh Hokage himself, talk no jutsu. So this man tries to talk no jutsu, Mikey. But no. Damn. Bro. Oh, he rocking. He's, yeah. hell out he's like, move, <laughs> I'll kill your ass. But then his charm oh my out God. Of his And then Mikey gets hit by that flashback, no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, f it. It ain't worth it. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to stepping. So then Kazu Torres like, all right, to food. atone for my sins, I'm going to stay here and get locked the fuck up again. Meal. So damn, bro, this nigga literally just got out of juvie <laughs> just to get locked up again. Well, uh, at least uh, he's trying to learn how to better himself this time. So, uh, good luck and uh, don't drop the soap. So later on, after that whole fight went <laughs> down, they end up having boy. a whole nother meeting. Drop and Valhalla it. ends up merging with Toman because uh, you guessed it, this nigga. But somehow, some way, Takamichi ends up getting promoted to first division captain. And hey, bro, even though this dude can't even throw like no My hands, boy. I gotta admit. This man got some crazy ass durability. Like, dude can take a ass whooping. So Takamichi's like, all right, let me go check out how the <laughs> future is now. Whooping. See if it changed a little bit. Yeah, so man. this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, he ain't working there no more. That man is dripped the f out and is a whole ass what? Yakuza boss. Bro, they picking up mans in a whole ass Rolls Royce and all his niggas Dang. with him too. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So Chifuyu and Takamichi gotta go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell, uh, some ain't right, cause half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Toman. Some of them are from an ex gang called the Black Dragons, and Hanma's lanky ass is there too. And they talking because somebody sure is a rat. Good. So Takamichi's like, "Aye, right, bro, what the fuck?" Is going on? So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, "Hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'ma give y'all a drink real quick." So they go to this dude's penthouse and then he starts talking to him. So then he says. What do you think about me? Around this time, 12 years ago, Baji died. And he He's drops like it. Dude. I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Toman. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they toast, I won't trust no drink. doesn't take mm -hmm. one sip. So then this man goes over to the window and starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah. That's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji. And I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done laced the drinks. So then Takamichi wakes tell up you, and they- Didn't I tell you he laced them? Yeah, I saw that. Already? I mean, you got one little, you got one big ice cube. It was already <laughs> off, man. You know, I need more than one big ice cube. Big ice cube. They all had big ice cubes. Why did you see that? <laughs> It was looking red, you know what I'm saying? He threw something, in there, uh, some venom, <laughs> snake venom or something in there, you know what I'm saying? In that drink, no cap. Are tied up and strapped down onto a chair. So then Kisaki's like, You had a nice nap, nigga? So then he's like, Yeah, I know you were right for you. You've been trying to get my ass ever since I killed Baji. So then he pulls out the Glock. He's like, Takamichi, why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in the leg. Oh, Ooh. yeah, bro. That's the so then he puts the Glock up in Chifuyu's head, and he's like, any last words before I put your ass six feet under? So then Chifuyu oh. reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared, and Draken was executed, and Toman just went to crap. So then he says, everything's in your hands now, partner. Damn! Ooh. Nigga popped a cap mm. in his ass. Blew my nigga Chifuyu's brains out, dog. And then he puts the wow. clock up to Takamichi. Bro, this man is a madman. Look at him. He like, say something, nigga. So then he sheds a tear and he's like, see ya, my hero. Then wow. Ooh. That is how you do he a cliffhanger. A oh, how much All right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Cause damn near everybody in this show got Black Air Force energy, dog. I already added Mikey before the monster. video even ended. And if I add more than two, then that's. There we go. What do y'all think about that? <sighs> Black Force. <laughs> that okay, so did the man have to die at the end? Yeah. I'm confused. I cannot stand animes that have that whole 
never ending loop where they keep going back in time to fix shit because it always plays out the same. Like, you can't control time. You can't fix everything. Something's going to fall through the cracks. Okay, we're going to so stop saying that's Black Force right? Energy. What you were saying? <laughs> We're going to stop saying it's Black Force Energy and we're going to call it City Trends Energy. City right? Trends? It's <laughs> City Trends. <laughs> City Trends in every hood. You know? City Trends. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I like it. Yeah, feel, man. You know what I'm saying? Dang, my man just didn't care. You know, towards the end. Dang. What an ending. That's all I got to say. What an ending. You know? I'm so confused by the ending. Did the main character just die or what? Like, I'm lost. Was that the main character that got shot last? Mm-hmm. I think it was. That was the guy with the blonde hair. Right? That can't shake that hands and go back blonde. in time no more. That's the end there, that right? Because he went okay. back in time to save the girl. Wasn't that the whole reasoning? Because she got That's what I thought. But it kind of started like slipping away. He couldn't save everybody. He just kept repeating. So he ain't really he didn't save Dang. nobody for real. Everybody got fucked up. Yeah, there him too. That was crazy. No cap, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that sub, man. Y'all follow them, man. Leave a link in the description, man. Thank you guys so much for coming out, man. We out. That was incredible.